Hello and welcome to another edition of Engineers Edge GDT applications. Here we have a perpendicularity example, and specifically, what we're wanting to do is to control a hole feature such that a fastener bolt at very specific size and geometric tolerance will fit into that bolt um, under a certain installation requirement. And that just happens to be a minimum clearance of five thousandths on diameter. So our fastener is a quarter inch 20 UNC. Datum A is the mating surface of the head and we have a perpendicularity on diameter of two thousandths. Now this is applied at regardless of feature size and by default that geometric tolerance applies to the axes as derived from the pitch diameter. So how do we go about determining the right tolerances as well as uh, assigning the most correct perpendicularity tolerance to our clearance hole? Now for this example, I want to ignore the counterbore feature. Let's simply assume that it is very clear of the bolt head and will not pose any sort of a problem. So first things first, we know that the mating surface of the fastener will touch the bottom of that counterbore feature and I'm going to call that datum A. Ultimately, we're going to have a perpendicularity tolerance. We're going to ignore the positionals for this example. Um, just as a reminder, um, in the ASME Y14.5 2009 standard, it is now recognized that angularity is equal to perpendicularity, and they can be used interchangeably when we have a, a perpendicularity example or squareness. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to assign a um, feature control frame. I'm going to associate it with the size. That means it'll be applied to the axes. And then I'm just going to use my angularity sim symbology. And we know it's the same as perpendicularity. Uh, my tolerance boundary is going to be diametric. So first thing we need to do is take the boundary information that we do know. And in this case, I'm going to calculate the outer boundary size of my fastener. And the maximum material condition of a 250 thousandths diameter fastener is going to equal to 250 thousandths, equal to the major diameter size and we have a perpendicularity of 2000 so I'm simply going to add that here we've got 252 thousandths diameter now in the upper left of the screen we do have a requirement that we have 5 thousandths clearance on diameter in a worst case scenario so we're going to calculate what that boundary is with the clearance for our whole feature. And in this case, I'm going to add five thousandths. So my inner boundary of my clearance whole feature is going to be 257 thousandths. Okay, that's great. So we now know what the innermost boundary of our clearance hole is going to be. So let's write down the equation for our inner boundary. What we're going to do on our whole feature is we're going to take the maximum material condition size and we're going to subtract that perpendicularity tolerance, whatever it is, and then we know cumulative of size and geometric tolerance that we're not going to be smaller than a diameter of 257 thousandths. Okay, so where do we get the numbers for this hole? Well, 
on engineer's edge we have a drill size chart as well as a drilling tolerances capabilities chart. Now we know that our minimum hole size cumulative of size and tolerance is 257 thousandths ANSI size drill bit chart so I'm going to find 257 ish here it is but we know that our hole is probably going to be a little bit bigger probably a um, 261 maybe even a 1764 so G so we know we have a drill bit that probably works now at 250 thousands plus how accurate can we manufacture that hole feature so if you come to the machinist drilling mechanical tolerance capabilities chart you'll see that between it looks like 251 thousandths to half an inch that the whole size would probably be somewhere around plus six minus one thousandths and this is easy to manufacture shouldn't be any surprises reaming isn't required so plus six minus one and let's write that down. I'm going to say that my tolerance T is equal to plus six thousandths and minus one. So now I need to know what my perpendicularity is going to be. Well, going back to our chart, we give information mechanical location tolerance capabilities chart. Now this is a recommended positional tolerance however we know that positional tolerances include orientation control as well. So it's safe to say that if we can as manufacture that whole feature at a positional tolerance we can also as manufacture a perpendicularity tolerance to the same if not a little bit better. So what I want to do is let's just assume we're going to use precision milling or CNC machine with a fixture and a tight tolerance is positional tolerance of eight thousands which would be a plus or minus four if we were using limit tolerancing methods. So positional tolerance I'm going to say it's a diameter of eight thousandths. Okay, so now we have um, some information. Um, this is um, equal to our tolerance. So I'm going to rewrite this equation. Um, I'm going to say, using some algebra, um, a diameter of 0.257 plus our tolerance which is a diameter of eight thousands should equal to our maximum material condition size so we know that we're larger so in this particular case maximum material condition size should equal to a diameter of it looks like two um, two hundred and sixty five thousandths all right, so our variability of that whole size is plus six minus one, and our MMC size is 265 thousandths. So let's go ahead and start putting some of this, this information in. And we know that this is zero, zero. I'm going to apply a material modifier to this um, maximum material condition. Um, we would have to explore exactly what's going on in this application, but we're just going to assume that we want that that maximum material condition bonus tolerance. So a diameter, my MMC is going to be the lower limit. Um, which is 265 thousandths 
point two sixty five and then our upper limit looks like we're going to allow a variability of seven thousands total I would add seven thousands to that two hundred and sixty five thousands and so that's going to be point two seventy two okay so based on our manufacturability of that particular size hole as well as the positional tolerance converted into a perpendicularity tolerance we calculated an inner boundary based on the maximum material condition plus our tolerance to achieve these tolerances don't forget that this is a very generic case and application and I do recommend that when sizing fasteners and clearance hole features that your organization establish an industry or a manufacturing practice chart that everybody lives by. You shouldn't have to reinvent these tolerance structures every time you facilitate a design. Thank you for watching Engineer's Edge GDT applications.